This week I've got a new commission project come in. It's for a studio roller. So that's one of those paper rolls that you attach to the wall and you bring down a big sheet of paper and then you can write on it. So for this project, I'm gonna be using something which I haven't used before. This is not plywood and it's not solid wood. It's a type of laminated wood. This particular board that I was using wasn't quite the right size, so I've had to cut it up and make some adjustments to it. But you could just as easily go out to your home center and buy a piece of pine that's the correct size. It's all gonna depend on how big the paper roll is that you wanna use. You wanna have around 20 or 30 mil spare on either side of the paper roll. That's gonna determine the width of your roller. Right here I'm cutting an angle onto the side panels. Now this isn't strictly necessary, but it gives it a nice look and the majority of the commercial paper rollers that I saw have this design. This next step's really gonna depend on your level of woodworking and to what degree you wanna take this. I'm joining the side panels onto the back panel using dowels. I like dowel joinery, I think it looks good and it's very strong, but you could just as easily use screws. So have a think about how you wanna join this and how you wanna finish it. If you were gonna be painting it, you could just screw it together, fill the screw holes and paint straight over. That would be quite easy. But in my case, I'm gonna be varnishing this wood, which is why I don't want any hardware showing. I drilled some holes into the side panels and then using some dowel center finders, I put the two side panels against the back panel, gave it a little tap and then I could find exactly where the holes should line up on the back panel. Then I could take the back panel over to my vise where I drilled down just more than half the length of one of the dowels and I ended up with four dowels in each side panel and this is definitely gonna be strong enough to hold up that roll of paper. A lot of the time with these studio rollers, the paper sits against the wall, but I wanted to make sure that there was a backing behind the paper so that if you used something like a permanent marker, it wouldn't bleed through the paper onto the wall. So to keep the paper against that backer, I'm putting in a dowel towards the bottom of the side panels, and I also need to drill out a hole for the rod that goes through the paper roll to sit in. I'm gonna do a dry fit in a second, and it's all gonna make sense then. To drill the hole for the rod to sit in, I'm using a hole saw. So I've got a 19 millimeter, thick dowel rod. I think I'm using a 38 millimeter hole saw. I drilled this hole so that there was just enough room for that 19 millimeter dowel to slide into, but there was enough side wall so that as you're unrolling the paper, if that rod does start to roll, it's not gonna roll and pop out of the hole that it's sitting in. You could have just drilled the hole a little further down so you have to slide the rod through the side panel, through the paper roll into the next side panel. But in my mind, that's just way too much work. And this way, the rod is not going to pop out of the roller. I rounded off all the edges using a block plane and a router. And then it was time to glue the entire piece together. To finish, I'm gonna be using a water-based polyurethane. I like to use water-based polyurethane on the paler woods because it doesn't yellow it in the same way that an oil-based finish would. The main mechanism of the studio roller is done. In the meantime, I've also got a sheet of plywood, given it a couple coats of water-based polyurethane, and this is gonna sit against the wall so that when you write on the paper with, say, a permanent marker, it doesn't transfer through the paper onto the wall and damage the paint. The next thing that I've got to think about is how I'm gonna tear this paper off at the bottom. So I've got this angled piece of aluminium and I reckon I should be able to get enough of an edge onto that so as the paper runs through it, you'll be able to tear it off quite cleanly. In front of the aluminium, I'm gonna be using a piece of wood. This is gonna improve the overall look in my opinion, but it's also gonna give that aluminium a bit more stiffness. The nice thing about working with aluminium is it's soft enough for you to use most of your woodworking tools. So using a regular drill and countersink bit, I've been able to sink that screw.
I haven't gone into too much detail in the video about how I attached this strip, but I've come in from the back of the plywood and where the screw punched through, I put in a business card, which was just thick enough to keep the strip off the plywood so that the paper could feed through it. After that, it was off to the client where I was installing this. I'm going into a concrete wall here, which really made this a tricky install. And it took a lot longer than it would if you were going into a wood wall. On site, I drilled through the plywood panel. Using those holes, I could mark where they were on the wall. Then using a hammer drill, I could put some plugs into the concrete and then attach the plywood to that. I followed the same process again for the paper roll holder that sat just above the plywood. I also made two end caps for the rod that slides through the paper roll. These are just some discs cut out of some plywood using a hole saw and then another dowel which pushes through into the rod. They're quite simple but it means that you can take them off at any stage when you want to replace the paper roll. And that was it. The client was really happy with how it turned out. I was very happy with how it turned out. This is a really simple project that you can add to either a home space or a commercial space, and you can use it for so many things. Something that comes to mind is in a restaurant, using it for a menu. You could use it in a boardroom or a meeting room for taking notes. There's a lot of interesting ways that you could use something like this. My name is Robin Lewis. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe. These are the types of videos that you'll find on my channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.